Hey guys, Drada Arcana here, back with another katana build for Wild Hearts, this time with the new meta and updated build. So here, let's go ahead into it. I'm going to show you two different katanas this time, the Fire Katana and the One Stroke Fury Katana. So let's jump right into it. First up, we're going to talk about the weapon path for the One Stroke Fury Katana. So once again, nothing's really changed on this build. Basically, you're just going to come down this way to grab that manifestation release, come around here to grab the desperation, grabbing that other manifestation release into the One Stroke Fury, back down into the Grim Stalker Katana. As you can see, I have it at plus one. So that means that we get that juicy 520 raw with the 40% crit chance. All right, guys, that's the Katana. Now for the new armor set. So things have changed quite a bit for this build. First up, we're still using the Garuda hats, solar protection, deaf ears, it's hard to beat that. The chest, which, you know, we're still using that Fulgent torso armor because we need that 20% destruction art. The Hawkeye is really good and the Sprint Master is amazing. Still using the Wayward Brigade Techos, uh, the One Stroke Fury, you just can't beat it. Next up, so another important thing is that Tangle Recovery is extremely important now, especially when fighting Murakumo, because with Tiger's Den, we now regenerate ailments slower. So we have Vengeance in Tiger's Den. To offset stun, we take the new Murakumo legs. To offset the Tiger's Den, we take that Blackout Recovery 33%. So this way, we're getting rid of Tangle and stun 33% faster which is also offset by tiger's den we take also that resurrection now for the talismans that we're running with this build we're looking at once again one stroke fury one stroke fury i have the battle spirit hawkeye it's just more efficient than anything else i have one stroke fury and of course the 11 percent manifestation release so anyways guys that is the main katana now we're going to look at the Fire Katana. This is a build that I have just recently put together. It is extremely effective against anything that is 4 star or higher weak to fire. So let's go ahead and look at it. So here we go. First up, we're going to look at the Fire Katana's path. So the Fire Katana, real simply, it's really convoluted. Unlike the other one, we're going to come up this way to grab that manifestation release once again. Come up this way to grab that nice desperation. And then come back here because we need to come around here in order to grab the one stroke, the one stroke fury. So where is that? That is over here. So we're coming around this long convoluted path to get this one stroke fury here. And then we're going to come back down. Because we need to come into the Grimstalker weapon with the nice manifestation release, 24% at the end. So we get Desperation, One Stroke Fury, Fully Unbound Fury, and two manifestation releases. So that's where we're going to go with the Katana for Fire. Next, we're going to look at the armor. So the armor is pretty much the same, except in the area of the talisman so once again garuda hat fulgent torso armor wayward brigade techos once again the flora hakuma and our hakuma and the tabbies from the new monster and then for the talismans so what we're going to want to do is you will have to farm lahara back because you're going to need infernal blow i got lucky 15 percent infernal blow unfortunately that earth boost really doesn't help us out but we're going to want Fire Boost, Desperation, uh, One Stroke Fury for one Talisman, and then another Fire Boost, Desperation. So we get that nice big Fire Boost. And then, of course, more Fire Boost. We are letting go of the Manifestation release for the additional Fire Boost. You can supplement this last Fire Boost for Manifestation release. The choice is yours. 
And anyways, guys, that's the fire katana build. The fire build is really good. When enemies are burning, they are CC'd, so they cannot move while burning. And Entangle does help with basically stunning the monster. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked the build video. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.